Hello boys and girls, we are back in Mars, uh, in the attempt to waking it, um, I am somewhat undecided where to go next. Uh, there was this uh, great symbiotic and or artificial structure uh, somewhere further uh, Further in. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna open a map uh, further in uh, that way, that one. And uh, uh, basically, I, I already have an idea what I need to do there, but uh, I, I would like to delay that one a little bit more because I'm, I'm guessing that's uh, some sort of big story point and. Uh, and I just want to poke around on my own. Uh, then there's this little cavern here, which has magma in it, and it had uh, two exits or two level changers that I noticed. Uh, so I had this idea that I could go in here. And, uh, and proceed crustwards. But first, I'm gonna look around some more in here. really were a scientist and uh, your hoversuit uh, navigation depended on some uh, some gamer back on earth um, who wasn't even very good at platformers. That would be hilarious I suppose. spore in its place, just in case, just in case I find myself back here and it turns out that I need it. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, this leads here. What about this one? And this leads back, okay. So, this is one the cavern, the one that uh, reminds me of the uh, reminds me of silica algae or, or some sort of uh, some sort of uh, you, not unicell monocell one cell life forms single cell huh. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no 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 no
that is not nice at all. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Whew, that's what you get for getting greedy. Now imagine if you were a scientist on Mars and your hover shoot was being navigated uh, by a gamer who is not only bad at platforming but also greedy. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Interference here. I don't know whether the mic picks it up or not. Yes, I was supposed to bring some water in here. Now I remember. Except, wait. Yeah, there it is. A few places where I kind of assumed that the. Uh, that the. Uh, 
together would have already uh, produced uh, uh, good conditions for each other, but I guess not. Okay, which one's up? But at least it, it, I used up its uh, its supply, sea supply. Right, and where are we now? Oh my God, this is some magma ship right here, and I didn't. Liang, I just picked up your signal again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How's everything? I am well, Amani. If you, you can receive my transmission, I suppose I must be near the vertical shaft. you about that enormous quartz structure at the bottom of the vertical shaft? I'll be calling it the core. <laughs> You're approaching that. I'm glad I get to watch this in real time. Shit. And I was going to say that I didn't want to come here just yet. Whoa! Before we check dies. Should have should have grown the bitey thingies instead. I can 
do is I can gather the seas before they cause trouble. No, 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 no. Neutralize or deplant one of the uh, bomb thingies. I would need uh, one of those uh, yellow or purple floaters, please, and uh, transform their uh, their terrain. Otherwise, uh, there is not much use planting anything in this region. vulnerable to the projectiles. This will lead to the cliffside, maybe. If 
Terra Maxis. I'm not even gonna try with these names. The robots probably named them anyway. Okay, so here's the nest of the floating things. Oh, well, what's in here? Oh, water. Okay, and they are dormant for now. So, lesson one. Magma. Actually, I think they pretty much near anywhere else they they are detrimental. Okay, so here is one. Here is one. Okay. Whoa! Ho ho! Holy fuck! These others breathing magma. Okay, I suppose I will have to start planting them. Hmm. Oops. And, oh, okay. One will kill the other soon enough. I meant to. I meant to plant uh, two two uh, explosives. Still, I suppose this one is shielded enough. Oh, excuse me. No, please do not wipe my ass. It is not mine. So essentially I've gotta keep feeding the feeding the little buggers. structures. Uh, this might be just crystals. I mean they are structures but are they like uh, biological or geological in nature? Let's check out. Alert! This chamber is xerically hyper arid! <laughs> yes, it is extremely dry here. Similar to the planetary surface. Attention! It is xerically hyper-arid, in excess of the life-sustaining threshold of previously unknown lifeforms of Mars. Too dry for even these durable lifeforms. Why would this be? 
A reservoir we encountered provides water to its neighboring chambers. Something must have gone wrong in this section of the cave. What are these formations? Scanning! I have detected that these niches form an ideal habitat for Ledonzoa. The life forms at the opening to the niches is symbiotic with Ledonzoa and will obstacle any non-Zoa from passage. So if anything is to be planted here, it will have to be the floating seeds of the Ledon. The fertile terrain here is still barren, however. That must be fixed before any planting can happen. terrain is anti-useful. No Zoa life forms can thrive here. What can you tell me about its condition? It has regressed into a dormant state due to extremely unfavorite environmental conditions. Alert! This state permits it to survive. If conditions improve, this fertile terrain will become useful again. Ow, 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 ow. I might have intended to do with all the compost. I think I 
set myself an objective and then just basically forgot about it. Let's go to my happy place. Oh, see. 
get to another place. That's where I'm supposed to exit. That's uh, the research station. Okay. In this case, I might have some idea which way to proceed. Uh, let's see if I go here. I'm Leon, outside, right? Why am I getting your signal? Are you close to the surface? I believe so. I've discovered another reservoir. This one is severely damaged. Wow, you're not kidding. Its shell is ruptured. This canyon was formed by tectonic faulting during the Hesperian period. That's more recent than most of Left Cavern. Probably ripped the reservoir in half. So the cave interior is exposed to the surface. That explains these hostile conditions. It is cold, dry, and low in atmospheric pressure. Nothing lives here. Even the fertile terrain is frozen. However, I believe there is hope. <laughs> Do you think it can patch the hole? That would definitely help warm the reservoir up. Yes. I've already encountered a life form that I think can seal this leak to the surface. Okay. Uh, I think at this moment I'm a little bit uh, behind Liang. 
because I'm not sure which life form he means. Does he... Does he mean we blow shit up or does he mean that uh, we... Uh, that we... Okay, I think he means we grow shit. Grow shit, not blow shit up. Which means we would have to grow... Um, one of these uh, membrane thingies, I suppose. Okay, but let's go back to the dry place. Because before I start throwing that stuff. I would like to know that uh, it's gonna be of any use. So I'm guessing that if I throw compost in a dry environment, it might work. But if it's also cold and low pressure, then uh, no, that, that leads to the reservoir. But if I if I throw it around in the cold barren room then I will have wasted the compost and I will be none the smarter. Okay, let's try that. <gasps> Nothing happened! Oh shit! I will have wasted the compost. Okay, so it seems that I I won't have to interact with the the fertile patches themselves, but rather, rather I would have to interact with whatever is causing this shit, I suppose. Okay, did I do it this turn before? No, I didn't.
sweet, sweet shit. One thing I haven't figured out yet is what exactly does the uh, uh, does the uh, biomass maximum limit do? I mean, does it uh, does it mark the mark some sort of threshold where uh, uh, where the breeding uh, stops? So I think this uh, this cavern sort of makes me suspect that this, this might be the case. I noticed once that uh, feeding the head crabs didn't result in uh, in more uh, more head crabs. They they laid eggs, but they uh, the eggs didn't hatch. That it was, uh, it was just, uh, yeah, like like here. It seems as if it didn't hatch, but I think it might just be a graphics issue. And actually, they are hatching, but, uh, but you're just sort of seeing the animations uh, stack up. sort of keeps uh, bumping off, off and on. Okay, so now I want to go back here. I think it was here. Not here, no, here. And from here to there. something about a life form that can fix the reservoir? What do you know that I don't? Huh. Hello, Amani. There was a genus of cerebrain that performs a related function for the cave. One grows wherever the cave interior borders the surface. It is... The Byzania! I hadn't thought to use one as a patch. The Byzania are like the skin of Left Cavern. I must visit one to determine if it can be reproduced. Uh-huh. So I guess uh, in order to patch up these outer caverns, I would have to uh, interact well or interact meaningfully with the uh, central structure, the the one that I uh, that I left alone for now, that I wanted to keep for this search. But even so, before I. Before I start interacting with that one, I am going to uh, do some stuff in the dry cavern. So, is this this one? Uh oh. Okay, that one is already fertilized. Any 
regular life forms present. Actually, I'm pretty sure that uh, um, getting these uh, uh, these near surface uh, caverns uh, pimped up. with these uh, bigger uh, bigger life forms uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. so do I have compost here I shall try okay do nothing so that is not the issue here oh huh. where did where does this go outside? Warning! Scans indicate a proximity to the planetary surface. And we have attained significant depth in this cave. We may be approaching an exit, Hart. Okay, but I don't want to come here just yet. Okay... Just a... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Just a little bit more exploring and then I think I'm ready to make a plan. Oh, Alert! This, is... this chamber is also xerically hyper-arid! Yay! Here too we are below the broken reservoir. This entire area will suffer until the water flows again. Ah, so in order to hydrate these chambers, the broken reservoir has to be awakened at first. Okay. Whee! What's this? Is this going to be fertile? I am not sure. Will there be magma? <gasps> no! No magma! Oh, I can walk safely. Oh, sweet fulfillment. Okay, over here, just rocks and the minerals. Art, what can you tell me about these life forms? Scanning! Hydrons! These are the root like appendages of Hydron Maxis. This terminal section is the apical meristem. Ooh. And they should be growing rapidly. Why aren't they? Alert! These Hydron Maxis are experiencing a distress of frozen conditions. <laughs> of course. I must repair that breach of the broken reservoir if they are to thaw. Okie dokie. And here we have this... Whoa ho ho! Ho! Okay, I was gonna say here we have this... Uh... Marginally artificial looking altar like thingy that might or might not be biological. There, there are also these thingies. Far out, man. Is there a passage here? Okay, so I want to know that nothing will grow here as easy. <gasps> Floor isn't lava. Hmm. Hey, I can run. It does appear as it is frozen lava, though. Like it was a pool. Like it's the crust uh, on top of the pool of magma. Yeah, magma, not lava. Magma. Probably I will be able to pass through later on, but for now I can't interact with this cave, so I will have to return. Okay, enough of the broccoli. So it would seem that I will have to make my way back to that uh, 
central thingy before I can proceed. Okay, this is all so very much information, so I'm going to take a break here and see you soon.